jetty over there. We've got car park here. I think there's a cave over there. This is the campground. Pretty nice.
ever since we got to South Australia, it's done nothing but blow. <laughs> Bloody cold. <laughs> so we decided to name it the Windy State. Yep. But they've obviously taken advantage of the Windy State because we've come across several of these wind farms. This is the one on Cape Jarvis, which is pretty cool. And you can come up here to this point and there's one really close here to the road that you can check out. Wow, look at that. Right underneath it. That's pretty cool. This is the goods shed and it was built in 1864 and it was part of where the horse-drawn trams came in to load and unload goods and um, carry them to Goolwa. And here's a museum on the old horse-drawn trams, a double-decker. The horse-drawn carriages go from Victor Harbour over to Granite Island, but unfortunately the bridge is under repair, so we couldn't go on it today. Who remembers vinyl? <laughs> Daryl's found one he used to have, Blondie. <laughs> yes, I love Blondie. What's it worth now? No, for foot ice cream. It's obviously a very old section of Victor Harbour. All these little old shops here. Don't put your donut out. Don't I just was about to put the donut the into seagulls my mouth. Seagulls swooped in and took it out of my mouth, babe. Somewhere my donut's been devoured. get off at the Goolwa station you can come across the road and check out all the Goolwa markets. Thank you. <laughs> I was walking along and you gave me a donut a and I went to, went to bite the donut you did. and a bloody seagull swooped in and stole it. Yes. Like swooped right in as I was putting it in my mouth yep. and stole it. Yep. So when you're eating fish and chips down on the south coast, or especially around this area, mm -hmm. try not to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here at the Goolwa Barrage and we're going to go and take a walk out here and check it out. Apparently you can see seals, so hopefully, fingers crossed there's some seals today. Let's go and check it out.
So they've got a lot of information signed here about all the locks and that that go along the Murray. And the five barrages that were built to create this uh, area here where they keep the fresh water separate from the salt water. So that's what this does. So that side's fresh water. Follow the footprints and this side the salt water. So the fish that need to migrate, when they first did it they didn't think about that and they trapped all the fish that need to go upstream to fresh water to spawn and stuff and then they had to sort of think about that later so they've made all these thoroughfares so the fish can come through. they use these locks to transfer boats from the freshwater side to the saltwater side. There's absolute feeding frenzy going on here with the birds and everything. They've just opened all the chutes that let all the fish and the out. seals, see? And look, like this is how close you can get to see the seals sitting here. It's really awesome, it's really amazing. There's a male <laughs> and a female. Yep. And then there's a female over here. Yep. Pretty awesome. So if you're down this way, come and check out Gulwa Barrage. That's pretty damn awesome. Yep, it is pretty cool. <laughs> Shuffle. Theory is twist your feet into the sand, loosen the cockles, the water washes over, brings the cockle up to the surface, goes in the net, and voila, you have some cockle. I'm going to catch the cockle now. <laughs> Okay? Yep. He's too small. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Three and a half centimetres. Yep. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I you. Couple dance. <laughs> I don't have the equipment. Yeah, but show us the dance. <laughs> Ever since you were a little girl, there's something you've wanted to do. Go to the mouth of the market. Like a tennis ball. So these barges, you got a booster pump here, and these are connected to that pipe we saw earlier, pumping out a whole heap of yucky water, yucky smelly water. And there's the actual barge out there that's dredging at the mouth of the Murray River. 